It is he who created you from one soul and created from it its mate that he might dwell in security with her. And when he covers her, she carries a light burden and continues therein. And when it becomes heavy, they both invoke Allah, their Lord. If you should give us a good child, we will surely be among the grateful. Allah knows what every female carries and what the wombs lose prematurely or exceed. And everything with him is by due measure. Indeed, Allah alone has knowledge of the hour and sends down the rain and knows what is in the wombs. And no soul perceives what it will earn tomorrow, and no soul perceives in what land it will die. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. Then he made his posterity out of the extract of a liquid disdained. Then he proportioned him and breathed into him from his created soul, and made for you hearing and vision and hearts. Little are you grateful. He created you from one soul, then he made from it its mate, and he produced for you from the grazing livestock eight mates. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, creation after creation, within three darknesses. That is Allah, your Lord. To him belongs dominion. There is no deity except him, so how are you averted? To him alone is attributed knowledge of the hour, and fruits emerge not from their coverings, nor does a female conceive or give birth except with his knowledge. And the day he will call to them, Where are my partners? They will say, We announce to you that there is no longer among us any witness to that. Those who avoid the major sins and immoralities, only committing slight ones. Indeed, your Lord is vast in forgiveness. He was most knowing of you when he produced you from the earth and when you were fetuses in the wombs of your mothers. So do not claim yourselves to be pure. He is most knowing of who fears him. <laughs> 